All right, Chris, for troops who served in Iraq, today's milestone presents a special opportunity to both honor those who have died and also respect those who survived. Ground Force Therese Astacio sat down with one soldier with the American Legion 9-11 Post, an agency that helps soldiers get on with their lives. Here, Commander Michael Gerard in his own words. Yeah, and it's difficult. Well, I'm glad we're honoring him today. It's an opportunity for San Francisco and the nation to look at the sacrifice of those 4,000 brothers and sisters in arms that selflessly sacrificed, voluntarily sacrificed to serve overseas so we can be safe here. We honor the dead, we support the wounded and injured. For every person that's usually killed in combat operations, three or four are wounded and injured. Those people, our brothers and sisters who have been injured and wounded, well, they're still alive. And we need to honor their sacrifices as well. And more importantly, we need to help them. It's not enough to say we support the troops. We have to act. We have to get more funding for the VA. We have an opportunity for everyone to support all of our young men and women here in San Francisco and in the greater Bay Area, perhaps even nationwide through legion.org, through legionpost911.org. Click on there. Contact us. We'll put you in touch with kids who need help with resume building, with job application writing. Well, the best part of this country and the best part of being a soldier is that we have the luxury of not having to engage in partisanship. Uh, we take an oath to serve and protect the Constitution and the people of the United States. That's a luxury that's afforded to not many Americans. I feel good about that. I know that my brothers and sisters do.